I spent some eight years in colonial Quebec in the early 1800s. I accompanied my husband George, the ninth Earl of Dalhousie, who was governor. We lived at the somewhat run-down Chateau Saint-Louis, overlooking the river. Quebec was lovely, but a somewhat provincial colonial port. Cultural stimulation was lacking. We felt that creating a literary society, as existed in Britain or even New York, would be beneficial. And so, the Literary and Historical Society of Quebec was born in 1824. Before the 1840s, women were in a much better position. In fact, some women even had the right to vote in Lower Canada. My friends and I all had papers published by the Literary and Historical Society. Mrs. Shepherd wrote about birds. My study dealt with wild flowers. I regularly went on botanizing expeditions in Quebec Sillery and at our summer estate in the town of William Henry, formerly known as Sorel. Hmm. I sent many specimens to botanists at Kew Gardens, but also donated 382 pressed plants to the Literary and Historical Society's museum. I had the good fortune of being able to accompany my husband to many exotic locales and always went botanizing wherever I went, exciting places with varied and unique wildlife like Madeira, St. Helena, the Cape of Good Hope and India. A botanist at the University of Edinburgh even named one of the 1200 plants I sent to them in my honor, Dalusia. <laughs>